truth is, Baskin Robbins is turning 70 this year wow. and celebrating with their sweet lineup of frozen treats, including the return of their February flavor of the month, Love Potion number 31. <laughs> Today's audience will take home a $15 Baskin Robbins gift card. Go oh, enjoy. You can buy a lot of ice cream. $15, it's awesome. And, you know, we do have time to get another question, and this one is going to be for you, Shai, and it's from Selma. Selma, what would you like to ask Shai today? Hi, Shai. I'm moving into a new place, and I have some existing furniture that I'd like to somehow figure out how to reuse, um, but also some ideas on new pieces to buy and where to place them all. Yes, great. absolutely. So you have a great new space. So, so Selma sent us a floor plan. Now this is really small because nobody can see it, so I blew it up for you. And okay. we're looking at the living room. Um, Selma has four chairs that she was really interested in keeping and repurposing, which I think is great in any new space that you're moving into. I mean, if we can repurpose, that's a huge money saver. So right. let's definitely do that. These were the chairs. They're, they're pretty transitional in the way that they look. I think they're really going to work oh, yeah. with, with, you know, anything right. that you have. Now you have mm. four. So I'm, I'm uh, recommending that you actually put two perhaps in the basement, one in the bedroom, um, but we're going to use two in your living space. Now the challenge in Selma's living space is, is that she has on this side here uh, an entrance in from the foyer and then this is her kitchen area entrance into here, which a lot of new builds have that kind of dual entrance into it. The challenge with that is then the furniture placement. So what I'm recommending is, is that she does instead of a sectional, which I, we all know I love a good sectional, two uh, sofas facing one another, something transitional, something really clean clean line, something that's going to be easy to work with. We're going to take your two existing chairs and we're going to face them into the fireplace, back to the uh, back to the kitchen. That's a really nice sight line. It's not too heavy. It's something that you're going to be able to kind of look in through to the mm -hmm. fireplace. And it's also nice and soft that it's not uh, it's not a heavy section or a one piece that is going to kind of block the sight line. And it's okay that you can still come in here with the chair backs facing. You got it. Okay. So, so angle it that way. It's a nice conversation area. It kind of defines the space for you because yeah. when you're open to the kitchen like that, you need a little Especially definition. Nice lines. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. It looks Which good is, from these the front and the back. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to connect you and Salma after the show because yes. we're out of time. Yes. And I, I can so tell so you so have so much more to say. Like I he's did. done all this work. Oh, Look. Go talk to her after the show. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.